Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, recently Microsoft rolled out the Patch Tuesday security updates for April for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And we've been talking about this throughout the course of the day. And according to Microsoft, the Patch Tuesday updates address a zero-day issue that's been exploited in the wild. So it's a vulnerability that's out there, current and happening. Now, this is all according to Microsoft's security website. And the vulnerability Microsoft lists as Windows Common Log File System Driver Elevation of Privilege Vulnerability. And it is tracked as CVE 20252984. Now, I'll leave um, this security post down in the description because it's got all the information you would need. It's quite in depth. Go check it out. And if you would be interested, I'm just going to give you a quick overview for the purpose of this video. Now, according to Microsoft, the issue is affecting most supported server and client versions of Windows, which will include Windows 10, Windows 11, and Windows Server 2025. Now, there's two important things to note that Microsoft says that the exploit does not work in Windows 11 version 24H2. So that would be in your other versions like 23H2. And although it ex can be exploited in Windows 10, according to Microsoft, it is delaying the patch for Windows 10 and it doesn't provide an explanation for the delay. So I think that's quite strange. But nonetheless, um, Windows 11 23H2 will definitely be patched according to Microsoft at this stage and it's not affecting 24H2. Now, one of the activities of the malware on a system that is affected is the dumping and passing of LSAS memory, that's L-S-A-S-S, -S, to obtain your credentials. And then once that all happens, the ransomware then activity begins on the actual targeted systems. And what it does is it does things like file encryption and the adding of random extensions. Okay, so quite an important vulnerability that Microsoft is trying to address. Now, if you are an average home user, I don't think you've got too much to be concerned about. Because if we head back to the security post by Microsoft, right at the top here, it says the targets include organizations in the information technology and real estate sectors of the United States, the financial sector in Venezuela, a Spanish software company, and the retail sector in Saudi Arabia. Okay, and then Microsoft just released that update, obviously, um, just as a precautionary measure because the zero day is currently out there active and happening. But nonetheless, as mentioned, all you need to do is just double check that your OS is up to date. And obviously, if the Windows 10 fix becomes available because, as mentioned, Microsoft has delayed the fixing of this issue on Windows 10 for whatever reason, and I get knowledge of that fix rolling out, obviously I'll post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.